Well, tonight was a, the, the culmination of a We George Best tournament. We run every year from the uh, from the ninth right through until the, the, the 12th, and. Uh, it's funded by the AFA and run by the youth workers from Ardoin. Uh, there's ourselves, Ardoin Youth Providers, breaking through barriers, give us a hand. And we're just delighted to see Carl coming up and supporting us and giving out the trophies and that tonight. And showing our support for us and whatever. What difference to having this sort of provision in the area? What sort of what does it difference does it make? Uh, unbelievable. Really and truly unbelievable. It's uh it's a godsend really, especially for the kids, you know, we've got this open a couple of months now and uh, it really hasn't stopped. You have all sorts of youth organisations booking it during the week. At the weekends on a Sunday night we have it ourselves for an hour on a Sunday night and we're getting more than 60 kids every Sunday night. So basically making our job easier as well, you know. We don't have to go out chasing the kids, we can, we can have the, the football up here and attract them all up here and have them in the one place so we can keep an eye on them. But it's, it's an absolute godsend and it'll just, it'll, it'll just improve the quality of football among the kids. It'll, the facilities are excellent. Carol, a bit of a change from earlier on today? Absolutely, I mean, presentations here to a lot of youngsters who are involved in sport as a diversion activity, particularly around Test and challenge and tension to the community. Uh, fair play to the Ardoin Youth Providers and indeed the entire community Ardoin Youth Club. Dean B, they're all involved in the bone. And this is, I mean, this is what the kids in North Belfast are interested in. They want to have a bit of sport, play a bit of soccer. Um, I mean, this is an investment that we've been waiting on for a long time. DCAP put some money in us, did the city council. Um, you know, this is what delivery should be, and this is what the outcome looks like for the kids. And uh, I'm delighted. I mean, it was a small investment. Look what the outcome is. But this area has had nothing but processes for decades. We need outcome. We need delivery. We've delivered for the community. The community are delivering to the generations within it, and uh, I'm and I'm just delighted to be part of it. Given what we've came from, this is what we'd all much rather be doing. We were up here last night, and we could see the lights all lit up right across this part of North Belfast. We're standing on Broughton Park, looking straight up here, and went well. For anybody who wants to know what you know involvement in culture and sport looks like, look up the hill. There's there's adults, teenagers, all out. Uh, this is like what part of a safer streets initiative, safer community initiative. This is where the youth clubs, the community groups, the parent and toddler groups, the political representatives all came together with all the statutory bodies and said we want to have a better and safer community. You need to give investment and we'll make sure that that investment's well used. And it was well used well after the one in the morning. And we're here the night and it's going to be used again the night. So far play them. And really to commend everybody involved because I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. And they, the people, the parents, the, cl the groups, the clubs, and the families, they all come here to make sure that these communities are safe. And without them, I don't know what we'd do without them. So far, play them.